So when we talk about otosclerosis, dear students, what is otosclerosis? The organized bone is replaced by immature bone, that is disorganized bone. And this happens usually at the level of the stapes foot plate. So how do you diagnose a case of otosclerosis? All of us would have heard about the flamingo pink appearance, that is a reddish mass behind an intact tympanic membrane, that is a flamingo pink appearance it is known as. As far as audiological investigations are concerned, the characteristic sign that we see on an audiogram in otosclerosis is known as Carhartt's notch. So what is this Carhartt's notch? It is classically a dip at 2 kilohertz in a patient with otosclerosis. Remember there is a airborne gap and most often otosclerosis is bilateral. So if you do an audiogram, you will be able to see a conductive type of hearing loss with a characteristic Carhartt's notch at 2 kilohertz in the bone conduction curve. When we talk about treatment, why are there three modalities here? You have sodium fluoride, hearing aids and stepidotomy. Sodium fluorides are preferred mainly in patients with active otosclerosis or otospongiosis where there is a flamingo pink appearance. Whereas when we talk about hearing aids and stepidotomy, these are given as options to the patients if they want a definitive treatment for the disease. When we talk about hearing aids, these are preferred for the ones who reject surgery as an option. And when we talk about stepidotomy, it can be done as a surgical procedure where we replace or create an opening in the foot plate of the stapes and replace the stapes with a piston.